Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 7.6 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we focus on Virgin Atlantic Upper Class with a review of video pictures and encompassing their wing, their lounge and on board with VA Upper Class. So then, Celebrity Radio's favourite and only way to fly is Virgin Atlantic. But why? For us, VA fully understand hospitality, making you feel welcome and important, expediting your transit as efficiently and quickly, causing as least inconvenience and aggravation as possible. From check-in to baggage reclaim, Virgin Atlantic go out of their way to make everything as simple as possible. Celebrity Radio believe Virgin Atlantic offer the best value for business plus service in the world. There are two levels to VA upper class. There is the limo option, which will pick you up and drop you off from your home on an open ticket. Alternatively, you can make your own way to the airport, which is usually significantly cheaper. To begin, the private drive through check-in, called the Virgin Atlantic Wing, will offer zero inconvenience and maximum comfort with the service avoiding Terminal 3 check-in completely. It's worth every penny of the upgrade itself. I used this service for the first time in January 2015. Just stunning. You literally drive up to the security gate, give your name. The slip road, by the way, is just before Terminal 3 main check-in. And by the time you arrive at the private entrance, you are collected, checked in within seconds and sent on your way through security to the lounge. Your tags are even already printed by the time you get out your car. You can literally be in the upper class lounge in less than 15 minutes from getting out of your car. Brilliant. The exclusive Virgin Atlantic security channel is literally two minutes walk from the Virgin wing and totally avoids the main Terminal 3 check-in and security or any non-VA customers delivering you into the duty-free in a breathtaking speed. Once through check-in and security, you can dine, relax and enjoy the exclusive upper-class lounge. The clubhouse is located in most major VA hubs. This is a real treat. An absolute oasis of calm away from the chaos around you at the airport. For me, it's the highlight of my transit. Heathrow, JFK and Gatwick naturally have the biggest and most elaborate lounges, offering full meal service with drinks plus extras like hair and massage should you require them. I really do suggest you get yourself there a couple of hours before your flight takes off so you can enjoy the clubhouse. It's an experience. It's relaxing. It's also part of the upper class experience. Who was it who once said it's not about the destination but about the journey? Well, that's certainly how it feels flying Virgin Atlantic. Since forming an alliance with Delta, Virgin Atlantic is not as competitive as it used to be. Having just searched five destinations in January 2015, four were cheaper with British Airways and one was price matched. I guess you get what you pay for. As wonderful as BAR, Virgin do have the edge throughout. So, so next you leave the lounge and arrive at your seat slash flatbed and dining room table all in one. You cannot fail to be impressed by the room and comfort of Virgin Atlantic Upper Class. It does feel better than BA. Let's be clear, Virgin Atlantic Upper Class is better than any business class I've travelled, but not comparable to Emirates, BA or Qantas First Class. That's not what it was designed to do. It's a business plus service, basically. This is upper business, lower first, in other words. Nevertheless, for me, it's absolutely the best value for money in terms of service and experience. On board, I recommend requesting a a sleep suit, the Virgin Atlantic pyjamas. I believe they have a onesie now, although they didn't have them on my flight in January. Why come off smelling of plain when you can come off fresh, having changed your clothes as you get on and get off? The food on board Virgin Atlantic in recent trips was a little disappointing. However, as I say, this trip, it was more impressive. Beautifully presented, very tasty. Bravo, a much needed improvement. You usually get a full meal during your flight, followed by afternoon tea before landing. On night flights, I suggest eating in the lounge three courses if you want, and then take two night all and wake up to breakfast. What's the point of paying for that flatbed if you're not going to sleep in it? Again, is Virgin Atlantic the best service in the world? No, sadly not. However, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, I do not believe you will get a better upper business class service anywhere in the world. Also, on arrival into London, do check out the Revivals Lounge. It's excellent. It offers showers, massage, a full English breakfast, and the perfect way to revitalise yourself after that long journey before you hit the London traffic. So there you go. Another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 7.6 million minutes viewed. This review 
Two was recorded on the 7th of January 2015 for CelebrityRadio.biz. Check out all our hundreds of reviews and interviews. Thanks again for listening. I hope you enjoyed our Virgin Atlantic Upper Class Review 2015. Ta-da!